guys, it's me again. Today, we just beat myself. <laughs> but anyway, we go back to talking about a topic today. Um, my name is Rowan Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. Today, we're going to talk about qi. Um, qi in Chinese basically means uh, air. <laughs> so qi means air. So, you know, since Monday we talk about feng shui, I thought I might well just talk about qi, so you guys got an idea. Um, earlier stage, we talk about everybody have an energy, right? So energy is more like if we describe soul as a light bulb energy, like light energy, you have a central conscious uh, core, then you radiate out, right? So whatever in between is called the feeling that you feel is what people usually describe as energy. So energy really in this case is more like a wattage, like if it's 5 watt light or 25 watt light or 125 watt light, the feeling that you feel of that wattage, right? So that's energy. Qi, in the other hand, is air. So it's how the air flow inside a person or around that person. As we also talk about the element of earth, right? Like all those lot of elements of earth can actually be stimulated by our power of thought. So it's no wonder that all the airs, all the things that around us will be actually influenced by how we so think or feel, right? So earlier, uh, I think last week we talked about breathing. Breathing is basically, I hope you guys practice because then that will make this cheat episode easier. By exercise breathing, you start to be very aware where the air flow inside your body. It will go up to your head and go down to your body and then, you know, eventually release from your mouth, right? Because you're pushing out all the energy and then you will start to be more and more aware how the air changes within your body. So qi is basically that. Qi is basically the air flow that's inside your body. So once you practice breathing more, you can actually get very good idea of feeling how the air flow around your body, right? So um, remember we talked about Monday. I'm just trying to run it out. That's why eventually you realize everything really all tying together. On Monday, we talk about feng shui. Feng shui is a big thing about how the air and water flow inside your body. And I tell you, there I have suspicion why they're connected together. The reason of that is, uh, I think, um, when, when our conscious really have using our body as parameter, that like we can only control our body and don't think beyond our body. I, I, I actually believe our soul is actually have its uh, radiation per- parameter reach out to our living space. So that would make our uh, house the major living space. That's why the way you decorated your house is more, most likely where it responds to the way you take care of your body too or how everything flow for you. So if you start to understand a little bit idea, feng shui is basically the flow, the air flow, water flow that among you, uh, around your house. Now we're gonna bring back to your body, right? Qi is just like that. Qi is something, is air, how it flow inside your body, right? So qi, since it is uh, air, it's just like a water, right? We all know water is soft, but if it can be very forceful, right? Qi is the same way. How it becomes forceful is basically by your, I would say power of thought, but then again, power of thought can cover a lot of things. It can be using your practice and then eventually you get really focused. You learn to focus your thought. You learn to put attention into your thought. Then you can actually make the airflow that goes um, specifically certain direction or you can radiate out to a certain direction and how much you want to influence it right so for me i i can basically watch how the chi flow by other people and knowing what kind of possible disease they might create such as a lot of you know a lot of people will come to me and ask about their illness and things like that the first thing I do is check on their chi around their body. So I see how they, the chi flow. So when the chi is floating smoothly, 
right? Even though there's a little bit blockage, but as long as it's not big blockage, the chances they may have little pain here and there, but unlikely create big uh, disease. But if I check on them quickly and then they'll notice their blockage on their airflow inside their body, like, you know, the chi flowing, then the chances they would probably in long run create a bigger problem, such as if my air go up and it's already stuck in here, the chances the person is probably think too much, you know. So that's why it's always stuck in here and it didn't get a chance to go everywhere else. And a lot of time, people, the air that's inside their body was stuck in their chest, in their stomach. That, that's how I know how they deal with emotion as well. As I say, everything will eventually all tie together. But, you know, air is a big thing. Since we all know we body contains 70% of water, right? <laughs> air is just next important things. So, you know, how we can use our thought to direct it. So a lot of people actually, if you know, there's also qi, qigong. Qigong basically means it's, in, it's a Chinese martial art that's focusing on directing those qi to a certain area of your body. So you can make those qi really warmer temperature or colder temperature during necessary. But when they, when they are practicing it, they're basically using their focus and then direct where their air should go. So I also notice a lot of time when people, they are practicing this martial art, they don't realize this. Their thought, their thought actually will influence uh, how the air flow as well. If they have a lot of worry, concern, they're still thinking about, you know, this and that. Sometimes people use this to heal other people, but what they do not see is <laughs> their concern and worry if they don't clear out before they heal others, that worry and energy actually pass on to the one who's being healed. So that's why I'm always a little bit careful about who's touching me <laughs> just because I'm very sensitive myself. So um, just another side joke, I would say a friend just start with a uh, a couple of years ago, I just started Reiki, and then she really want to practice on me. Reiki is actually another um, healing method that's actually using qi, believe it or not. It's actually using their own um, airflow concentration and try to blend in a little bit of the energy and the qi together to heal someone, to put someone in a calm situation. So, when she's tried to exercise on me, she want to get some feedback from me, right? So I was lying there and she's tried to put some, you know, wave of chi into me. And then all I can feel is she's worrying about, she's thinking about her work, she's thinking about the tax, she's thinking about her kids. So after, after the session, I actually don't feel healed. I'm, I was okay to begin with and at the end I end up have so much stuff so I have to get up and say can you stop that stop thinking about that when you are healing someone and then that's why she's aware oh my god I didn't know you would pass on so healer <laughs> as a healer if you want to heal someone if you're exercising those chi as I say all elements on earth you could stimulate whether you're thinking whether you say it or not People who are sensitive, they feel it, right? But if you really want to be good at your job, clearing, clearing out your chi first, clean out your mind first before you heal is definitely very important. But then to majority of us, right? Living our life day in, day out life. If you exercise your breathing, breathing matter, you will get a very good idea how the air start floating in your body. It takes some practice, but eventually you will have awareness of it. So once you start having awareness of it, you will start to be able to exercise, exercise and practice how you can um, focus, put focus into the chi, which is the air again, to make it flow nicely and do a quick check of your body, because really that's how I check on my clients sometimes to see how the air flow. If there's a blockage, then as I said, look into it or you know, start cleaning the house. It will actually correspond with one another, but it would be, you know, hopefully helpful with you guys 
the qi is how your air flow inside your body. That air flow will eventually uh, radiate out to your soul parameter by using the focus within the power of thought. So you could make it become very forceful. The qi energy become very forceful, but normally it blends with everything pretty well. So anyway, that's a term that you will hear people say, oh, you know, Chinese probably speak more of qi than, you know, Western people. But if you're like me, you'll hear people say it all the time. They talk about it all the time, but, you know, I'm just not quite sure they fully understand how much it influence or what it really means. So anyway, here I'm just trying to clarify what qi is. Again, qi is just air. Qi in Chinese means air. So qi gong means air martial art. So if you are, you know, curious about how the qi work, as I say, breathing would really help. And then qi is just, then it would put your awareness into how the flow. If you do, if you do check on, if you're getting more and more aware of how the energy flow within your body, you are, you will get better at using them or using your power of thought to direct them where they should go, how they should change for your liking and things like that later on stage. So, okay, that's the topic of the day. I hope that give you guys a little bit idea how qi is. I mean, soul to us is a very general idea, right? But soul actually influence a lot of things. So it will come with energy, it will come with qi, it will come with aura or chakra. You know, those are the things we actually influence uh, in a bigger scale that you will be start to notice later on. So anyway, that's why I'm starting introducing the vocabulary now and hopefully later on we can just talk about it. So anyway, again, I hope that answer some question and then if you guys like what I'm doing, you can always join me in Periscope and or like me on Facebook or subscribe my YouTube channel. Or you can always go to my RU website, ruowen.com. And guess till then, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.